Welcome to Cyberbots Full Metal Madness. This is a mech-based fighting game developed by Capcom and published by Capcom as well, and originally released in arcades in 1995. So to put it in the simplest terms possible, in this game you are controlling a mech and you're just beating up people in other mechs, basically. I mean, that's pretty much the basic gameplay premise, but there is an actual storyline in this game. Cyberbots takes place in the late 21st century, where the people of Earth are grabbing grappling with an overpopulation problem. In response to that, some government entities had managed to develop space colonies that some of the humans of Earth now live on. I don't think every human lives on a space colony now, though, in this universe. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of humans who are still living on Earth. But the rest of them are just living out in space, basically, because they don't really have anywhere else to go. Now, the plot of this game centers around a military group known as Earth Force, or if you're playing the the North American version of the game, Earth Core. And Earth Core is the primary army that overlooks the Earth itself, basically protecting the entire planet because apparently there's only one army left standing on Earth now, and they're now just defending the entirety of Earth, I guess. But it turns out that Earth Corps are not exactly an ethical organization, imagine that. They've been conducting a whole bunch of experiments on people, including children. <laughs> and it turns out some of those children were basically tortured while others just straight up died. So it kind of seems to me like Earth Corps are absolute scumbags and we should probably go and kick their asses. I guess it is important to mention though that a lot of the playable characters in this game are former Earth core members. I don't believe all of them are, though, but there seems to be a couple of playable characters that are either still enlisted in Earth Core, or had previously been enlisted in Earth Core. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Earth Core's motives actually are, and it seems like there are some characters in this game who straight up don't care about Earth Core. It seems like there are some characters who are just completely neutral towards this conflict, and they're just kind of trying to escape the complete insanity that Earth is now devolving into. And if that weren't enough, there's also a giant alien brain who wants to kill humanity, so there's that too. And there's also some weird space pirate dude who's trying to take over other parts of the galaxy or something like that, I don't know. The plot of this game overall seems to be a bit convoluted. And I don't particularly care too much about the game's plot because I'm a lot more interested in just showing off the actual gameplay of the game. Cyberbots did receive console ports to the Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1 in 1997, but unfortunately those ports only came out in Japan. There was also a PlayStation Network port of Cyberbots that came out in 2011. That port was technically playable in North America, but it was actually the Japanese version of the game, and that version of the game is not translated at all. Cyberbots is also meant to be a spin-off to another Capcom game called Armored Warriors, also known as Power Gear in Japan, and Armored Warriors is more of a beat-em-up game featuring mechs that I'm presuming takes place in the same universe as Cyberbots and probably involves most of the same characters. I have not played Armored Warriors at all before, but but it is available in Capcom Arcade Stadium, much like Cyberbots, so I don't know, maybe sometime in the future I could maybe play that game as sort of like a follow-up to this video? Maybe? Now is there any particular reason why I've chosen to cover this game on the channel today? Well, not really? The only real reason why I'm choosing to show this game off today is because it just looked fairly interesting to me. I had never actually heard of Cyberbots or Armored Warriors until I started playing Capcom Arcade Stadium on the channel. Because up until pretty recently, I had never heard of this game before, nor did I ever hear of Armored Warriors. So this is a fighting game that I'm not really familiar with. But when I found out that the premise of this game revolves around making mechs duke it out with each other, that was pretty much enough to pique my curiosity. So I do want to warn you guys ahead of time that I am not terribly familiar with this game. I've also played it for a while off screen, and unsurprisingly, I am terrible at it. I think part of the problem is that I'm actually using my keyboard to play the game, and yeah, these kinds of games are really not designed to be played with a keyboard. The only reason I'm not using my PS4 controller right now is because I'm actually recording this on location, and I didn't 
think to bring my PS4 controller with me. So yeah, I'm just an absolute master at thinking things through. And also, the game itself is actually quite difficult. Like, the AI in this game is absolutely brutal. They just go completely bonkers with a lot of their attacks. They're just constantly, like, chaining attacks together, and they're constantly blocking, and they're really difficult to... Uh, they're really difficult to try in combat. But we're not gonna worry too much about that, though, because I thought the game's premise was interesting enough that I could show it off to you guys and see what maybe you guys think about it. It would also give me the opportunity to show off another relatively obscure Capcom game, and I mean, it's a Capcom fighting game, and if there is one particular video game genre that Capcom are pretty much masters at, it would be fighting games. And this one is pretty neat for sure, I would say. So I guess with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy a 25-year-old man doing the absolute stupidest thing you could possibly do when playing a fighting game, using a keyboard. <laughs> Alright, well, let's start the game then. We're gonna begin immediately here, so we do have a countdown timer. So, we have six different characters that we can choose from here. We got Jin, Mary, Santana, uh, Gawain, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Bao and Mao, and Arietta. Now, all of these characters do have their own backstories. I think Jin is basically, like, the protagonist of this game. I don't think he particularly cares about the Earth Force stuff, though. Uh, I'm gonna go with Santana for now because honestly he just looks like the coolest character. I mean look he's doing he's doing the the the, the devil or like uh, like the rock on pose or whatever. Santana, once the proud leader of the Mars Revolution, he's now working on a plan to destroy the Earth Core. I need information on Earth Core's colonial satellite. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have time to waste. Give me the info to need. Uh, give me the info I need or I'll beat it out of you. If it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you'll sh you shall get. Oh my god, I already cannot even talk anymore. Okay, so, we're, we're controlling a mech called Bloodia, and actually, Jin is also controlling the exact same mech. So, yeah, we're fighting- if you play as Santana, you actually fight Jin immediately. So, the thing that is kind of interesting about, uh, about Cyberbots in particular is that the game does appear to have multiple different storylines. Like, each individual character has their own unique storyline, and depending on what character you select, it will change the outcome of the game's story. So Santana is supposed to be some kind of mercenary, I believe? Apparently he led a whole-ass revolution on Mars? Somehow? And yeah, now he's trying to, uh, destroy Earth Core. He's trying to formulate a plan to destroy them, so... I should probably talk about how exactly this game works here. So, the keyboard controls for this game are very nonsensical. Uh, you press the J key to attack. Uh, oh, okay, well, I mean, I basically just killed Jin right there, but... <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it, this works like pretty much all the other fighting... Okay, hang on a second. You ain't half bad, kid. Kind of remind me of your father. What do you know, my father? Tell me now. I know that there was a bad accident involving your father and Earth Core. See ya, kid. That's all we're gonna tell him, apparently. This place is useless. There's no information for me. Who are you? Are you Earth Core scum? I ain't Earth Core and you ain't either. You lie. I know you're a spy for Earth Core. Alright, well... Having a really hard time convincing these people, Chiyomaru and Tessen. So, they're controlling uh, a mech called Gates. Yeah, so if you want to know how the game controls, because everything is happening so damn quickly here, uh... This game plays more or less like pretty much all of Capcom's other fighting games, where uh, you're trying to beat... Uh, it's basically like a best of three game, where you're trying to beat all the characters here in uh, two different ra or well, three rounds in total, but you're trying to beat them twice. And, uh, oh my god, wait a second, they're actually beating my ass right now. What, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Yeah, it's best of three. You have to try and beat the characters at least two times in order to move on. So you have a multitude of different attacks that you can use, of course. You have different, like, commands that you can use for various attacks. If you're playing this on Capcom Arcade Stadium, the PC version specifically, uh, you press the J key to use a very specific sort of attack, and then... You, you do have, like, a, a secondary weapon right here. There's a weapon that's, like, floating around you. And you can press the K key to fire that particular weapon. Okay, well, that was... Holy frick. Okay, well, that seemed like a little bit of overkill right there, but... Uh, yeah, so you do... You, you normally have a weapon on your mech that you can also fire at any time you want as well. And there's also, like, a secondary attack you can use by pressing the space bar. There's also a power meter that fills up occasionally. Well, I mean, it's constantly filling up. 
throughout the entire course of the game. Okay, if you can stop throwing, like, energy balls at me, there we go. Very nice, get the frick out of here. Target destroyed! Yeah, so if your power gauge fills up, it allows you to use uh, a special attack of some sort. If you're with the Resistance, why are you on this satellite? We used this station to spy on Earth Core. You're a great fighter. Will you join us? I already fought my battle on Mars, kid. You're on your own. <laughs> it's Earth Core. Must be looking for the Resistance, kid. Who are you? Are you with the Resistance forces? I'm my own man, minding my own business. Don't mess with me and I will mess you up. I won't mess you up. Okay, this is Mary, by the way. So she is actually part of Earth Force, but I, I, I do believe that if you're actually playing as Mary, because she is a playable character in this game, you do basically turn against the Earth Force eventually at some point in the game, or Earth Core as they're known in, in the North American version. I guess it's also worth pointing out that this game is literally just known as Cyberbots in Japan. The Full Metal Madness subtitle is something that they added in the North American version. And I think it also exists in the European version, too. Something is definitely on fire in the background, and I can't tell what it is. It looks like everyone's on fire. Oh, okay. I did some weird attack right there where I just, like, picked them up. Oh, yeah, I forgot that uh, these guys also have giant laser beams and also a lightsaber. Okay, well, and they just blew my ass up as well. I mean, I almost got them there. They're controlling uh, a mech called a Killer Bee. So, yeah, there's, like, different attacks that you can that you can use against, uh, against some of the mechs in this game. Like, you can uh, press the I key to boost, and you can boost up in the air. I do believe you can attack diagonally, and I think the sort of attacks that you perform in midair depend on, like, the actual inputs you're using, whether or not you're pressing, like, uh, you know, a, the, the A or D keys, or, like, W and D, or W and S, or, like, uh, like, basically you can attack in, in different directions, and you can also attack diagonally. And the attack, the type of attack you use depends on, like, what direction you're attacking in. There's a lot of, there, there's plenty of different attacks you can use. I want to mention as well, though, that there's 12 different mechs in this game in total, like, 12 playable mechs. And they all have their own unique attacks as well. That's, that's the thing. So each individual mech has their own unique moveset, basically, and I would not be able to tell you, like, every single attack that all of the mechs can use in this game. I do believe they all have official names, but, man, there's there's way too many to go over. I would not be able to name all of them by by memory. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I just knocked off Killer B's arm right there, so that's another interesting thing that you can do as well. So, your arm, which I think is basically your weapon, because I, I think your weapon is basically attached to your arm, if I'm not mistaken. So, your arm has its own, like, damage meter in this game. And when the damage meter on your arm depletes entirely, your arm gets cut off, basically. It just goes flying. And, uh, hang on, another cutscene? Your Earth Corp's slime. So you tell me where the headquarters is? I die before I tell you. Alright, well, that was... <laughs> that can easily be arranged. I'll make you tell me. The base should be right about here. What the hell? You won't get us, you Earth Corp gutter trash. Okay, now we're, now we're fighting Bao and Mao. Yeah, they're, they're piloting something called Golden. Oh my god, they're... Okay, th that... Uh, Golden has a flamethrower, by the way, uh, which is absolutely terrifying. God, everything is happening so damn quickly right now that I'm really having, like, a difficult time, like, concentrating and trying to explain what's, what's going on here, but... I do know that Bao and Mao are supposed to be siblings, and they are also, like, basically neutral in the, the, the Earth Force conflict right here. They're basically just trying to uh, uh, escape trying to escape from Earth Core. They don't really care what exactly they're planning, they're just trying to make it out of here alive. And they're not going to if I keep beating their ass like this. <laughs> also, they apparently don't know how to actually pilot a mech, so they're basically just kinda... just kinda winging it. Apparently the mech is programmed in such a way that even someone who doesn't know how to, how to use the mech can actually still use it quite decently. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's a thing, a little bit of lore right there. Oh god, can you put me down, please? Yeah, so I know, I know that when my power meter is fully is fully uh, completed right here, or fully... Oh my god, I don't even know what that was, but... When my power gauge is filled up completely, I know that I can use some sort of special attack. And I know that the special attack can only be used when I have my power gauge full. Like, when the power gauge is is completely full. And I know that it, uh, it fills up over time as I keep, like, attacking enemies here. Oh my god. Maybe not jump into the damn flamethrower. Okay, what is this spin attack that they're constantly using here? They were also using that spin attack quite frequently when I was, like, fighting them off screen. Trying to do some kind of uppercut here. Oh, lord. 
Yeah, so I, I don't think there's any specific key that you press in order to, like, use your special attack here. I think there's some sort of button combination that you need to use. And I don't remember what it is. Okay, well, I almost got them there. I just freaking blew up, dude. Mission terminated. Yeah, you only have one life in this game, by the way, because I already have to use a continue. But that's okay, though, because that gives me the opportunity to try out another mech. Try out the Swordsman here, because Swordsman also has a lightsaber. <laughs> Yeah, so whenever you die in this game and have to use a continue, you do actually get the option to change your mechs. You're not actually stuck with, uh, Bloodia for the entire game. You can change it to something else if you do end up getting a game over. And all 12 of the mechs in this game are basically unlocked to you from the very get-go, so you can use them whenever you want. I can try showing off the swordsman. Okay, I knocked something off of, off of their arm. Yeah, okay. So they- I don't think they can use, like, their- one of their secondary weapons here. Oh yeah, and if you take- holy frick, dude, they're going buck wild all- all night and day, Jesus. So I do believe that if you take way too long to try and pick up your arm again, eventually the game will just spawn the arm directly on top of you so you can go get it back. So there is that as well. It- it also treats the, uh, the enemies in that- in that same fashion too. Yeah, so if you take too long to pick up your arm, the game decides to be generous to you and it just kind of like throws it- it basically throws your arm at you. And just like, okay, well, j just, just pick it up, okay? Just, just be done with it, please. Okay, hang on a second, I gotta be careful here. What is that, like, bicycle kick they just did? Okay, well, whatever. Well, I grabbed them, hit them with the lightsaber a couple of times, and they're, they're done. Okay, I gotta try and do this, uh, like, one more time here. Yes, this is, this is phase three, because it's best of three. There's some sort of spaceship that's lifting off in the background, but we don't care too much about that right now. I gotta really be careful, because they could actually use their special attack at any time. I'm trying to figure out how to use my special attack right here. Okay, well, that- there it is. There it is right there. Oh, lord. Okay. I need to do a bit of- what in the world is going on right now? Excuse me. There we go. Turn to a little spike ball and try and get him that way. Oh, lord. Okay. Jeez, they're still trying to attack me even when I'm, like, down on the ground. What are you doing? What are you doing here? There we go. Spin into him. Spin. Do the spin. Oh god, they did the spin and I got destroyed. <laughs> I mean, I will say, this does seem to be way more, uh, faster paced than Street Fighter. Or Street Fighter 2 specifically. Which, by the way, Street Fighter 2 is also playable in Capcom Arcade Stadium. And I think I do actually own it as well, because I think I- I got it for free. For, uh, Street Fighter's 35th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think they made it free. Or, like, they gave it away for free. Okay, well, either way, I'm using something called Riot now. And I'm just punching him. Oh, and I'm setting them on fire with green flames. Very nice. Look at that. Green flames, dude. Oh, they're getting... They're just getting, like, reamed. They're getting reamed and creamed. I don't like the way I worded that. <laughs> I very much don't like the way that I worded that whatsoever. That's, that's most likely gonna go in the Out of Context video now that I still haven't started working on, even though I mentioned that I would start working on it like four months ago. I need to try to figure out the button combination to use my, my power thing here. Do I have to like... Uh, duh, 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 no, oh, gee, okay, you know what, maybe just, maybe just continue punching. I already got him once. There we go. Grab him, slam him to the ground. Very nice. And they blow up. Target destroyed. One player win. Yeah. Energy, time. Okay, yeah, you get a bonus, a rank. I don't care about any of that. Where did you learn to fight like that? Somewhere you two will never see. Who's taking care of you kids? I am taking care of them. Please come with us and allow us to apologize. I love to stay, but I just caught a familiar looking blip on my radar. See ya. Hey, hamburger head. Santana. Remember Mars Shade? Yeah, we're finding some dude called Shade now, so... Shade is a cyborg who controls a mech called Helion, and apparently the backstory of Shade in particular is that he used to be human, but Earthcore conducted some kind of experiment on him where they basically turned him into a cyborg, and uh, yeah, he has like a giant energy sword that he can use now, and it's it has insane range on it, I can at least say that. Oh yeah, he can turn into a helicopter. God, the, the, these, I mean, these mechs are basically like Transformers. Okay, if you could stop just l hitting me with nukes constantly. Dude, how in the frick am I already about to die? Hang on a second. I ain't going down without a fight. Not going down without a fight here. Oh, Lord. Okay, wait a second. Uh, down in space. 
Okay, never mind. That's... He... I think he actually used his special attack. Okay, well... Fine, let's use the Reptos body type then. This is a machine called Reptos. This one has a big laser on it. Big laser cannon. I'm gonna try and hit him with it. Okay, he didn't actually try to block that. Okay, by the way, it is possible to block enemy attacks in this game as well. And the way that you block enemy attacks is by moving in the direction opposite of the attack. So basically, like, moving away from it. So, yeah. There we go. J just throw him. Throw him. I gotta try and do this a little better. I'm definitely not doing that right now. Oh my god. Jump over. Jump over the nuke. Over the nuke. Uh-oh. Dropping some missiles down on me. Oh my god, please. I gotta figure out... Okay, well, he just hit me in the foot and I... I... I short-circuited. Come on here. Gotta do... Gotta do a little bit better than that. Gotta do a little bit better than... Actually, I think this dude also has a lightsaber as well. Yeah, Reptos has a lightsaber too. That I can just, like, like, throw around as well. Or that I can, like, swing around, I mean. Here we go. I did notice, playing this off-screen, that some of these characters do seem to have a bit of a difficult time trying to dodge Reptos' laser. Sometimes they just straight up don't try to dodge it, and I don't know why. You can't spam your weapons either, because th your weapons do also have a gauge of their own, and if the gauge on your weapons uh, depletes entirely, then that means your weapon has overheated, and you need, to, you need to wait for it to cool back down before you can use it again. So it's not something that you can just spam constantly. Okay, who's gonna use their power first? Okay, he actually did block it. Maybe I should try and block some stuff for a change, like this. Uh, da, da. Oh, okay. I don't think that even reached me, actually. Hang on. I'm gonna just fly over that. Oh, lord. God, that, that freaking laser attack that he does right there, just very difficult to, to for me to uh, dodge for some reason. Here we go. I can do some uppercuts. Can I? Oh, my god. The sword, dude. The big sword. The big energy sword. Kind of looked like I was just bouncing on top of him and I was doing a lot of damage that way. Okay, wait a second. He's, he's almost done, dude. Hang on. Can I just take him out with the laser? Ow. Ow. Frick. Hang on. There we go. Grab him. Okay, he's almost done. Can I take him out with the laser? No, he's he's blocking it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, wait. Oh, no, I got him again. Okay, well, he's definitely done now. There we go. Big explosion. Game definitely looks good for 1995. I mean, I'm definitely impressed with the, with the pixel art on this. You may have stopped me, but the Doomsday weapon is still aimed at Earth. Ah! I must stop that damn thing from firing on the Earth. What? Another one is coming. <laughs> you won't be stopping anything once I and my servants get done with you. Prepare to be beaten by the fabulous Princess of Thieves, Devilouette. It's a shame I have to mess up such a handsome face. Yeah, Devilouette, or Devilot, I think her name is. Yeah, we're not done with this location, by the way, because now we're fighting a giant octopus? A giant robot octopus. She controls a mech called the Super 8, which is not actually playable in this game. You cannot use this mech at any point, and I mean, I'm just terrified of this mech anyway, because it's a big old octopus with tentacles, and, uh, no. Absolutely not. Uh, okay, so, she fires a bunch of missiles. She also fires, like, these bombs that, that kind of, like, hang around in the air. I do think you can slice through them with your, like, lightsaber right here. Or at least all of the, oh my god, at, all of the mechs that are capable of, like, using a lightsaber, basically. Okay, phase, phase two, what, what are we doing here? Oh, you did not grab me. Or I, well, I did not grab you, I mean. Oh god, it's like trying to, it's like trying to zap the life force out of me. Lord have mercy. Okay, hang on a second. God, they already have their, their, like, power charged up. Oh yeah, they do a lot of, like, like, uh, slide attacks as well. Like, Super 8 does a lot of slide attacks too. Or Devilot, because, I mean, she's the one who's controlling it. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't know how exactly uh, the f the freaking octopus tank can slide around so seamlessly like that, but I'm gonna try something else now. Let's try lightning. This gives me an opportunity. Like, every single time I die, it does give me an opportunity to show off, like, other mechs in this game. Because even if I don't end up beating the, the single-player campaign here, which I'm gonna warn you guys right now, I'm probably not going to, because... I, I think I did manage to reach the final boss of the single-player campaign before, and uh, I feel like they're basically impossible. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna be showing... if I'm gonna be, like, showing off the actual ending to this game, but I'm gonna show off most of what I can in this... in this... in this video, okay? So what exactly can... can Lightning use? Oh my god, can you stop using the freaking slide attacks here? 
Yeah, so lightning can extend... Oh, lightning can actually extend its, uh... Can extend its wheels outwards. Uh, I know there's an actual name for that because it's a tank. Uh, the treads. It can extend the treads outwards. Oh, yeah, I'm just... I'm just grabbing the octo. Grabbing the octo. And... Oh, no, oh, those are two-hit combos. Okay, well... Okay, no, I actually did get him. I thought I was the one who died there. No, I got him. But I gotta get him again. I gotta get him, like, one more time here. Oh! Oh, no, that, that, I don't think that was even what I wanted to use. Oh, yeah, you can also crouch as well to, to, like, dodge attacks, too. That's also, uh, a thing that is definitely possible. Uh, oh my god. You can stop putting down the damn bombs in the air. Stop putting down the biomes in midair. The biomes. Yeah, Super 8 seems to love blocking a lot. They block, like, a lot of my attacks here, dude. Okay, I gotta try and do a little bit of blocking myself here. There we go. Gotta just move away from it. Oh, okay, I, I managed to, to grab him again. There is this, like, big lightning attack that I can do right here. Okay, they didn't even attempt to dodge that. Not quite sure why. And for that, they get completely obliterated. Very nice. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of that. I'm still getting, like, horrible ranks, though. We are defeated, Mistress Devilot. I can see that, you fools. Watch your back, stranger. Watch your own damn back. See ya! Santana, don't try to do this alone. I'll go with you. I can handle it by myself. I don't need an old warrior like you tagging around and getting killed. This is Gawain. He operates something called G-Vias. So Gawain used to be part of Earth Core, but he's actually retired now because he's apparently in in his 60s already. Yeah, he's a he's a retired member of the uh, of the Earth Core. Um, apparently Santana knows who he is. Oh yeah, so I actually hate uh, Gawain entirely because the the damn G-Vise right here has an attack where he extends his arm out and he grabs you and he just slams you into the ground over and over again. Oh yeah, also this one where he just straight up like like drives over you and does a lot of damage. There's also that as well. This, this hangar is also getting destroyed in the background too. Yeah, a lot of his attacks do, like, considerable damage. Or, like, like basically all of his attacks do, like, extreme damage. I did notice that this this is, like, one enemy right here. Where, uh, it, they seem to have a rather difficult time trying to avoid Reptos's, uh, lasers in particular. Because one thing that I did discover off-screen is that, uh, g seems to have a very difficult time like, blocking Reptos' laser. Oh my god, okay, I avoided something really awful there, but I still died regardless, but I think he was using, like, his, uh, his, one of his powered-up attacks. I think what I'm gonna do in the meantime, though, is that I'm gonna show off at least another, another one of the Reptos' body types here. This is co something called R-Jackal. I do think that some of the, uh, some of the enemies that you fight in the single-player campaign as well, depending on what character you've selected, they will also use different mechs. Like, there is not one specific mech that they use, apparently. Or, like, well, that some characters use. Like, I think the next character that we're gonna fight after this, the mech that they use can actually change, depending on what character you're using here. So what can what can Jackal do exactly? I mean, Jackal has this weird attack where, um, yeah, they launch a whip and it sets people on fire. And also this thing where they launch, like, a purple whip, or a pink whip, rather. That also seems to do considerable damage. I think they also have, like, a normal weapon, too. Oh my god, dude. I hate that attack so much. It really doesn't help that Gawain just constantly spams that attack as well. I mean, look at this, dude. I mean, I can use G-Vise myself to try and give him, like, a taste of his own medicine here, but hang on. I'm gonna try and, and see if I can if I can do something here. I mean, if all else fails, I could just use Repto and just, like, hit him with a bunch of laser beams. Because, I mean, that did work out for me off-screen. Like when I was when I was battling Gawain off screen, at least it, it did eventually work out for me. Oh lord, no! There we go. I mean, maybe we could also try to do a little bit of blocking here as well. Never mind, that didn't work out in my favor at all. Okay, forty body types. Let's let's try out forty here. I don't know. I don't remember what forty actually does. What what do you do exactly aside from having like a a, a big eye from being a cyclops? Oh, they're, okay, that was a weird attack where I just did, like, an uppercut, a fireball uppercut? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I turned into a ball? All right. Interesting attacks. Oh, my God, okay, wait, I'm actually kind of destroying Vise right now. Hang on. I'm destroying Gawain. 
who's piloting Vias. Like, the character himself is not called Vias, that's the name of his mech. Okay, there we go, I actually managed to grab him. Hang on a second, don't run away from me. What are you doing, bud? There we go. Get the smack down on him. Oh, okay, good dodges at least. There we go. No, I am not about to get grabbed by you again. There we go. You you get some of my own grabbing action. Very nice. Let me violate you a little bit. Let me violate you a little bit for a change. Let me violate your personal space. There we go. Since you seem so uh, so adamant on violating Mayan. Fine then. What does this other thing do? Oh yeah, this, this is just like big cannons that I can launch at it. I mean, he also has like a, a double cannon as well. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Four hit combo! So, how impressive. I have an airbag as well for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, this mech just has an airbag that, that I use to block, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, he can also, I forgot he can also grab me out of midair. That's, that's another thing he can do as well. Something, something I'm also firing at him that appears to be connected to a chain of some kind. There is another attack, another attack that he can use that also like knocks me out of the air as well. I think he's tried to use it at least once. I just did some kind of bicycle kick there. Holy frick, dude. Okay, some of these attacks I don't actually remember seeing on 40. Okay, well, let me see... Why do you just go to, like, one one corner of the map immediately, or one side of the map? What are you doing, bud? Here we go. Let me try and, uh... Okay, I'm just... He's using the same attack over and over again. There we go. Doing some damage. Ow. Brick. Oh, I forgot he can also move back to... Okay, he's just doing it again. Doing it again. I have to just, like, stay up in the air as much as I possibly can, otherwise he just keeps using that over and over. Oh, lord, okay, he has, like, the same special attack as, uh, Gawait or whatever it was called. Oh my god, dude, what is this? Seven hit combo, okay, well, I felt like I was doing good at first, but it, it, it fell apart. It fell apart so fast. Let's use something called Tarantula. Yeah, by the way, you can make these, uh, screens go by a lot faster if you just keep mashing the J key constantly. Okay, he's, he's just, like... Okay, they're just doing a lot of blocking right now. Okay, more blocking. Can you can you get can I at least get some hits in there? Okay. We're, we're basically still at the same amount of health, pretty much. There we go. I think it also tells you there's also like indications on the screen as well telling you that your weapon has overheated. It does that for the uh for the for the uh, opponents as well. Oh my god. Tarantula is basically like a giant spider mech. It's basically what it is. It can attack with its limbs. With its multiple li where, where even am I right now? I'm losing track of myself here. You also have missiles that you can- that you can fire as well. What is this right here? Oh yeah, it's some other kind of electricity attack. Oh my god, he's just gonna keep using this over and over again. Please? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, honestly, if all else fails, I might just go back and try to use Repto here to try and just, like, knock him out with laser beams. Because, I don't know, it, when I was playing this off screen, it seemed like he, he was having a really hard time dodging the beams. I don't really know why he was having such a difficult time. We just keep grabbing each other constantly. Jesus, what is what's happening? Ow, frick! Come on! Oh, lord, no, you're not gonna. You're not gonna. No, oh, maybe you are gonna. I don't know how you knocked me out of the air like that. Hang on a second. Oh, my goodness, dude! Frick! Fine, let's use Killer B! Which I think... One of the d d people we were fighting before was using was it was it Mary who was using this? I th I think it was Mary. Yeah, d Killer B's got a lightsaber. He also has this attack as well, where he like uh, the the slide attack where he uh, does he 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 swings a bunch of balls around on his feet. Jesus Christ, what is happening right now? This is insane. There we go. Get some get some sword in your in your face, please. Get some lightsabers in your face. Okay, good blocks. I will at least commend you for those blocks. Oh my lord, no. No! Oh my god. Yeah, it keeps telling me to press the I button as well, by the way. I think, I think to try, uh, that's basically telling you to, like, one of the ways that you can recover from getting attacked constantly. I think, th I think that's what that is. Oh no. There, no? Oh my lord. Okay, hang on a second. We are gonna try and get past Gawain here. It's like, it's like the, the, the last character that we have to fight in the single player campaign that I think I'm actually not going to be able to beat. He just keeps using that same attack constantly. Oh my god, dude. And it does so much damage as well. That's the other thing. Like, this is freaking insane. Oh yeah, my arm is gone, by the way. Let me go grab that back. I think it picks up the arm automatically when you move over it. God, I wish I knew how to use my, my power up here, like my special attack. 
I wish it was just a single button that you could use to use that, but it has to be some weird combination of keys that I, I, I can't even seem to, to use at all because of the freaking weird keyboard controls. Oh yeah, it was called Golden. Yeah, the, the mech that I was using before was called Golden. This is the one with the flamethrower, right? Yeah. Can I use the... Oh god, I keep forgetting it's the K key to use the flamethrower. There we go. Oh, well, he got he got a little burned by it. Hang on. Let me just get a little bit of hits in there. Okay, I think I did get some hits in there. There we grabbed him. Okay, somehow I, I actually canceled the, the... Oh my god, I just keep grabbing him over and over. I managed to cancel that attack that he just did right there somehow by just just constantly grabbing him. Holy frick. What is going on right now? No. Hang on. Oh, hold up a minute. Okay, I, I just keep doing this attack over and over again. Kind of like to maybe try something just a little different. Goodness, I don't even know where some of these rockets are going, but... Hang on, am I am I still alive? Oh no, I actually am... I actually was still alive. Okay, I got him. I got him somehow. Got him with the slide. Got him with the old slip and slide. Okay, phase... This is actually only phase two. Okay, so I have... If I, if I die right here, then I still have another chance... Another chance to try and kill him. Hang on a sec. Uh, let me try... Da, da, da. Yeah, there we go. I think I just, like, stab him with a big... What kind of looks like a spear of some sort. Yeah. Some kind of drill. Oh my god. Okay, he's... He's he's getting a little... I think he's getting a little angry now. He's getting very angry. He's, like, moving really fast. Oh, Jesus. God, I don't like the fact that he keeps going all the way to the other side of the damn map to try and get away from me when I'm trying to, like, boost my way towards him. Oh yeah, your boost is not infinite in, in this game either, by the way. You need to... The boost eventually runs out as well, and you need to wait for that to recharge too. I do like, though, how depending on what sort of, uh... What type of mech you're using, the actual indicator for the boost is different. Because in this case, it's like a... It's like a, a gauge. It's like a... Me it's like a... It's like a little needle. It's a little needle display for the... I, I don't even remember what uh, what body type this is, because I'm getting completely distracted by everything that freaking Gawain is doing right here. Goodness, he's going absolutely buck wild right now. Actually, I did do quite a bit of damage to him there, but it, I, I kind of looked like he was blocking all of my attacks. There, you try this. No. The, oh my god, he got me in midair again. No, not... Oh my lord, he just... Grabs me, pulls me up in midair, and like, and like, tries to freaking, freaking crush me here, dude. Okay, hang on, we're, we're, we almost, we almost have it. Hang on, I'm gonna get hit one more time and I'm gonna die, but maybe... If you could stop using the same attack, there we go, get out of here. Very n- <laughs> Uh, just, just gotta throw him and slam him into the ground and he's done. I may have lost, why is his eyes bleeding? But I got my licks in. That you did, old warrior. See ya. You must be stopped, and I'm just the man to stop you. You human shall perish. Challenge me only if you wish to die, foolish human. It ain't my time to die, it's yours. I didn't- I- okay, I did not notice that Gawain's eyes were bleeding in his portrait after you defeat him. I actually never noticed that. Uh, that seems rather disturbing, but I'm guessing that he is alright. I don't think any of the characters we defeat here actually, like, die. <laughs> Except for, like, the final boss. And also this character as well. Yeah, I think this is the penultimate stage of the single-player mode, by the way, guys. I, I think it is, anyway. This is a character called God. That's literally what they're called. Except it's it's apparently supposed to be an acronym for something. G-O-D? I don't remember what exactly G-O-D is supposed to stand for, but, uh... This is the, the, the giant enemy brain that I was, uh, that I was talking about before that wants to destroy all of humanity. Yeah, we're fighting them right now. And in Santana's storyline, they're using the Jackal to try and kill you. How did I not do any damage at all? That, this is just embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for everyone in the fighting game space. Okay. I think I'm gonna need to use a different kind of mech for this. What do we do? We, well, actually, I didn't... I could try using G-Vise this time as well. Oh, yeah, Golden. Golden Vias. There we go. Let's try and use, uh, let's try and use Gawain's own mech this time around to see how, how good it is. Yeah, they're using Jackal, which has, like, the, the fire whip. The fire whip that it can use, the fire whip. I don't know why part of their arm is, like, is, like, shining occasionally. I don't actually know what that means. Oh god, okay, they do a lot of, like, 
Jesus, dude. They do a lot of bum rushing, it would seem. Like a lot of a lot of slide attacks here. A lot of slipping and sliding. Oh my god. Okay, wait a second. I think I think the problem is that this mech is it, I think this mech has too much weight on it. It feels very weighty compared to some of the other mechs, and I don't I don't think it works too well for you know, trying trying to fight a mech like this. Okay, well I grabbed him there. Hang on a sec. Hang on a minute. Oh, I'm still grabbing him. I'm still grabbing him and just slapping him across the face. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Okay, is this is this the strategy? Okay, what were you Okay, you're why are you crouching? Okay, I did some kind of attack that what okay, wait, why are you crouching? What is what is going on right now? Why are you just crouching constantly? Well, it's what you get for crouching. There we go. Get out of here, dude. Stop being a coward and get just come get your just desserts. There we go. Oh, okay. I forgot. Well, actually, I I didn't know that Jackal had that spin attack as well that it could also use. Oh, I see. Jackal's the one that got the A rank. Okay, so that's actually kind of funny. Apparently, the opponents can also get different ranks too, for killing me. Jackal got an A rank the last time they they destroyed me, which is kind of funny. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Oh yeah, by the way, I I didn't mention this before, but there is a timer. There actually is a timer that you have to try and uh, be mindful of. Because, uh, oh, if you're not mindful of that, it just rains down lasers from the sky. Okay, hold. Ow! So I'm trying to set me on fire, dude. I don't like being set on fire. Okay, there we go. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back for just a moment. Okay, well, I didn't listen to my own advice and I got completely uh, uh, eviscerated from this plane of existence. Right, well, I guess the final mech that I could show off is Cyclone. Something called Cyclone. I have had some considerable luck with this mech as well, though. This mech has a giant drill that it can use to attack people with. Like, look at the, look at the big drill. Look at the big drill. Oh, no. Hang. Oh, God. Okay. I have to, like, down, downward kick. I have to do some dive kicks here. Do some dive kicks. Actually, dive kicks worked kind of well when I was using... When I was, uh, fighting Jackal off screen. Or, I guess, God. G-O-D. I don't remember if it was this mech specifically that I was using. Oh yeah, this dude can also launch landmines as well. That's that's what the the weapon does here. It can do some considerable damage if if you're able to trick the opponent into landing on them, which is actually surprisingly easy to, if I'm being perfectly honest. Because I mean, more often than not, they do end up running into it. So hang on a second here. I gotta I gotta I gotta try and hit him with the drill. Well, maybe hit him with some landmines as well. Hold hold up. I don't think God necessarily has a gender, though. I mean, they're basically just like a giant alien brain that's hell-bent on, on destroying humanity at large. You gotta put a stop to him. I think that's, like, their only purpose. I don't even know if they're, if they're like, related to Earthcore at all. I don't know if this is, like, a, one of Earthcore's many experiments gone wrong. I have no idea. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe go back to Reptos and just, just hit him with laser beams constantly. Just hit him with laser beams over and over. Why not? Let's just let's just do that. Okay, they they were actually smart that time. They just they just like they shielded it. Okay, well I shielded that as well and I grabbed them and I I, I, I did some damage. Okay, I'm still punching him, punching him over and over. There we go. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, they. Yeah, see, th this is kind of what I was talking about. They're not really trying to shield against it, except for that one time where they did, and that time where they didn't for some reason. Very odd. Kind of odd behavior, if I'm being perfectly honest. I do want to mention as well, by the way, that that just like phased right through them. Why? Why? Okay. No. Stop hitting me over. And, hang on. Hold up. Okay. Hold. Hold on a minute. Give me my arm back. Okay. Well, that's what I get. <laughs> I'm just playing this on normal difficulty, guys. Like this is how difficult the game is normally. I could actually make this even harder if I wanted to. This is on difficulty 4, and I can set this all the way up to 8 if I want. But I'm, I am I didn't feel like torturing myself with that tonight, so I decided to just just not do anything with the with the difficulty settings and just keep it the way it the way it, they are normally. So that that's that's just it. That's just it. There we go. Hit that I okay, well it does seem like they're using their special okay, well. They were using their special weapons, and... Oh my god, okay, hang on a second. I am not going to continuously torture myself with this. If this does take too long, I will just end the video. <laughs> maybe try using Swordsman here. Maybe you need some... Maybe the lightsaber... Maybe a little bit of lightsaber action is what we need here to, in, order to, in order to succeed. 
Okay, kinda, kinda doing something right now, actually. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Get some, get some kicks, though. You gotta get your kicks. Okay, I gotta do a bit of downward attacks myself, but I'm not, uh... God, I, I'm really not figuring out how to, how to do them right now, or at least I'm not doing them well. Okay, well, I did grab them again. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to, how to do an attack like that. I mean, if I just keep grabbing them over and over, that's fine. And I mean, I did get them there, at the very least. Because, I mean, at least the lightsaber does have a, a, a fair amount of range on it. So I guess that's good. There we go. I just keep grabbing him over and over, dude. Let me try using this. Okay, no, they, they blocked against that. Uh, no, they blocked against it. Jesus. Okay, I need to start doing some slide attacks of my own here. Okay, hang on a second. I need to try and get better at recovering from, from attacks as well. That's that's another thing. I gotta I actually gotta like try and, and listen to the game when it tells me to spam the I key over and over. Okay, I actually have to kind of try and take the game's advice here. Oh my lord. Well, I do appreciate that your power meter does actually carry over in between rounds. So I mean that's good at least. I'm gonna try and figure out how to do how to do this here. I don't know, I kind of feel like the best shot I have is with Swordsman, actually, so maybe I'll just keep using, uh, using this particular mech for, for the time being. While I'm trying to, trying to kill God here, kill God himself, themselves. Alright, well it didn't work out there, because I didn't, I don't even know what I was doing half the time. Oh, okay, I actually figured out how to use the, 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 the run, run over with the spiky treads attack. I figured out how to do it myself, I actually didn't realize Swordsman could also do that too, but I guess makes sense because he's he's a tank he's a tank with a big-ass lightsaber I mean that's how cool is that how freaking cool is that okay there we go ended it at 69 seconds very good oh and I got 6900 points for the bonus too, the time bonus okay well now at least I have two chances to, to kill this doofus here so let's 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 go let's not mess it up let's not mess it up oh god N oh Jesus do some dive kicks oh I I have like a drill kick of some kind or I can use like a dr can I please have a chance to recover there we go kind of did something there kind of did a little bit of a thing there oh god okay it's all going bad again it's all going bad okay well gee man I really gotta spam that I key though because if I don't recover fast enough they can just keep like like grabbing me over and over and just keep throwing me everywhere just keep bullying me uh, here maybe maybe we need to turn into a tire we need to do some spins hang on a sec well, I don't have room to do it right now because it just keeps hitting me with a with a damn fire whip. Please. Oh my god, they used the, the stupid power attack again. Okay, wait. Hold hold up. I don't I don't see what exactly you're trying to do right now. Sometimes the enemies will just stay still as well and not do anything until I like come near them. I don't know, man. Sometimes I mean I would say overall that the AI in this game is pretty good. But it can exhibit some weird behavior at times, I find. And I can only imagine how strange that behavior gets when the difficulty is set to 8. Where am I right now? Okay, actually I got him. Holy frick. Came down to the wire there, but I actually did win. I did- I did get the victory. Okay. Just one more here. One more here and then we can- we can continue onwards. There we go. Get- get- get the- 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 the throw. Oh god, I- I also forgot he has that attack where he, like, like, crushes me with the whip. Doesn't just, like, incinerate me with the whip either, he just straight up, like, like, asphyxiates me with it too. Well, no, not asphyxiation, that's- that's not- that's not what that is. He- he strangles me with it. There we go. He strangles me with the whip. Okay, almost quite got it. Oh no, we actually did get it. Okay, there we go. God, I just sliced him in half, dude. Target destroyed! I only had eight health remaining, but we got him. I can't be defeated. I will not perish here. Yeah, you look defeated to me, see ya. <laughs> Why are the resistance fighters heading to Earth? The fleet appears to be under the control of the Brian. This is weird. As long as there is pain and suffering, I shall not die. Through the body of this girl, I shall destroy you all, and then your wretched Earth. You stinking gutter trash. If I gotta take out the girl to get to you, then so be it. Yeah, so... Arietta is now under control by the brain, it seems, and they're piloting a mech called the Warlock. The Warlock is basically impossible to defeat, I feel. So, the Warlock has a lot of different attacks that it can use, and they all cause, like, extreme damage to you. Yeah, he's throwing those bombs. Oh yeah, he can create a mirror image of himself, and I think the mirror image can do damage to you as well. He can also absorb health from you as well to replenish his own health. Like, yeah, he can actually just straight up replenish his own health in this game. At least the Warlock is capable of doing that, and oh yeah, those 
those big fiery rings that he can throw around as well. Well, I mean, I did a decent amount of damage to him at least. I got him down to like half health. Yeah, so I don't think Arietta is actually controlling the mech here. I think she's basically like under mind control right now. She's being controlled by the Brian. The Brian did not get obliterated. I don't think we actually murdered the Brian. It's taken over her mind now. Or maybe it's, maybe like Arietta's trapped inside the mech and the brain is taking over the mech. That's what I'm guessing is happening here. Okay, I don't know. Swordsman is kind of doing like decently against him. And as soon as I say that, I blow up and die. <laughs> yeah, so I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to defeat this particular mech though, because Warlock is a very difficult mech to defeat here. Just given all the different attacks that he can use. It's especially annoying when he manages to absorb your health and get and manage to replenish some of his health. Because none of your mechs are able to do that. Like, none of the playable mechs in this game are able to do that. And the Warlock is not playable in this game, from what I know. You can't use the Warlock yourself in order to fight the Warlock. So, y you can't do any of these attacks yourself, dude. So, it's- it's- you have to- you have to come up with something else. You'll have to. You're not gonna have a choice. Uh, nope. Okay, well, that hit me right in the dick. Hit me right in the dick and I fell over. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know how good a freaking freaking lightsaber would do against- I mean, I could also try Reptos to see if perhaps, uh, I could probably use laser beams against him and see how good he is at dodging those. We'll see. Oh, he- I, I forgot he also has that special attack as well, and if you don't dodge out of the way of it, uh, it does- it basically gets rid of, like, half your health. D oh, j can you stop throwing the rings? No rings. No rings around the rosy, please. Oh my god. Well, yeah, and then they just teleport away, never to be seen again. Yeah, so I think this entire ship is under the control of the brain here. I gotta try and see if, uh, perhaps... Oh my god, okay, wait a second. Uh, my arm is already gone, dude. How how good are you at dodging lasers? Or I guess blocking lasers in this case, because you don't really try and dodge out of the way of them. Because I guess, I guess you don't really have to. But, oh my god, he just keeps throwing those bombs, dude. The bomb- I actually blocked against that. That looked kind of impressive. Oh my goodness. I wonder if we will get to see the attack he can use where he, like, absorbs my life. And, like, and, like, replenishes his own health with it. I would like to at least see if maybe we could get to, uh, if we could at least see that attack. Because he can use an attack like that. Um, oh god, okay. I didn't mean to- Wait, what am I doing right now? I totally forgot where my fingers were on the keyboard. Yeah, not a big deal. Okay, wait, I grabbed them at least. Okay, that is actually one of the special attacks he can also use as well. Another special attack he can use when he's powered up. And he didn't use it. Well, well I mean, he did use it, but he didn't get me with it. I blocked it somehow. Or I moved out of the way of it. Okay, wait a second. I have more health than he does right now. Okay, wait. This is kind of... Uh, kind of going, like, decently. Oh, that phased through him again. I guess it doesn't hit them at all if they're if they're standing too close to you. I just jumped over that. Oh, I forgot that acts like a boomerang. It does actually come back. It comes back towards you. Okay, wait, he's not... Hang on a second. He's not blocking that attack. He's occasionally not blocking that attack. Okay, wait a second. We might have something here? I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that if the time runs out and I have more health than him, then that just counts as an automatic victory towards me. Oh my god, I'm trying, I'm trying, dude. Oh my god, wait a second. Wait a second. Run, run the time out. Did I still win? Target damage time over? Okay, I guess that did count. That did actually count. I ran the time around. Okay, wait, wait, a, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Maybe it's not hopeless, because I was not able to even defeat him at all off screen. Like, not even once. I mean, I didn't technically defeat him anyway, because, like, I just ran the timer out. But yeah, I guess if, if I cause more damage to him, then yeah, it just counts as a victory in my favor. Um, oh my god, man. Yeah, this dude is, like, this dude is insanely difficult. Yeah, but you'll see that I can't attack the mirror image, though. I can't do damage to the mirror image, and it seems like most of my attacks just phase through it, too. Oh my goodness, man. I keep forgetting that uh, Reptos does have a lightsaber as well. All right, well, I mean, I don't know what what use would gold would Golden have against him with the, with the big uh, with the big flamethrower here, which I keep forgetting. I use the K key for that. 
Why do I keep forgetting that constantly? Okay, hang on. I'm I'm actually kind of I'm kind of managing to burn him with it a little bit. Just just a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Not not dodge. He's not really doing a good job at dodging out of the way of that. Ow. Two hit combo. Wow. So impressive. You got a two hit combo. Incredible. You're gonna be competing in Evo in no time. Says the guy who keeps dying to you over and over. <laughs> Hang on, this is actually kind of a good start. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm throwing it all away because I'm like doing literally nothing useful anymore. I don't know. Maybe I also kind of feel like maybe this is a case of Golden being too uh, being too slow again as well. I mean, I don't know if some of his attacks are like more uh, if some of his attacks are much stronger against certain uh, against certain mechs. I have no idea. I don't know. Cyclone. Can we, can we get him with the, with the drill? Can we get can we try and like drill his face in? I don't know. We'll we'll just try it here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do like too many attempts of this because I don't want to like drive myself insane. So I'm just I'm just gonna see here. I managed to defeat him at least once in this video by simply running out the timer. So I mean that's that's about as best as I can do here. Honestly, with with Warlock at the very least. Jesus, man. Okay, I'm kind of getting him with some of the dive kicks, though. Yeah, what is he doing just standing around here? Hello? Oh, okay. You, now, now you're going. As soon as I land on the ground, you start you start attacking me. That's kind of what I was talking about, though. Okay, that attack right there is the attack he uses to try and like sap my health and like absorb it into his own health bar. That's that attack right there, where where he puts where he. Uh, summons a bunch of like rainbow colored waves that is what that attack is just for the record here oh yeah i can also like launch these in the air. okay wait a second hang on a second he's kind of not dodging those very well okay wait did i find something did i find some kind of tactic here well i mean i did grab him i grabbed him oh yeah he has a turret on him as well that he can fire at any point and that also causes like a lot of damage He's using the mirror image again. I mean, this is one of those things where I could just avoid him and try to and, and try to like run out the timer, but I would rather not do that. Okay, this actually seems to be in my favor right now because he's kind of kind of. Wow. Okay, he cannot dodge these landmines. Well, I'm starting to realize. So hang on, I may have found something here. Ooh. Oh. Oh goodness me. Okay, I actually did it normally. I did it normally that time. Okay, wait. Well, I mean, I still only have one chance to do this because he already defeated me like once. Okay, wait. Uh, uh oh my lord. Okay, I have to not be in the middle of the mirror image here because that's gonna like destroy me. That's gonna destroy me really fast. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him either way, but like, I'm at least glad that I was able to like deplete his health bar completely and like win it win it like fair and square. So that's that's pretty good. I think it's a good indication that I'm at least getting kind of better at this fight. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, okay. Well... <laughs> Mission terminated. Uh, it's quite unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess in that case... We can try and use our default mech. Just as, like, one final shot against this dude. So, maybe just maybe just one more. One more for the road. Use use good old Bladia. And maybe try to use that one attack where I like I, I like uppercut him and I I grab him and like slam him to the ground. Because it kinda seems like that does considerable damage to him. Uh oh, not like that. Hang on a second. Like oh my god, he he still dodges that he 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 still blocks it pretty well. Oh my god, I'm like trying to burp and talk at the same time and it's not working out. Hang on a second. Oh. No, he just he just blocks like absolutely everything. Oh Jesus! Okay, well he still got me with the he got me with the with the with the leg swipe. Okay, I'm really not even sure what I'm doing at this point. I have done literally no damage to him, and I'm already about to die anyway. So, Lord have mercy! At least let me get one hit on him, please. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Christ Almighty, dude! This is he got an S rank from that as well. But this is what I was talking about, though. The AI in this game can be insane when it's not doing weird crap, like just staying in a corner for, for seemingly no reason. So, I mean, oh my god, just let me get one hit. There we go. Two hits. Oh, three hits. Okay, wait a second. See, but like every attack that you do in this game does do considerable damage, even to the final boss here. Which again, I'm pretty sure Warlock is the final boss of the single-player campaign. But man, like... This is just, this is 
freaking wild, dude. This is just insane. I mean, I know that I could just set the difficulty to one, and I would have an easier time doing this, and we could actually, like, show off the ending to this game, but... I just wanted to try and play the game the way that it's it's meant to be played here. Just on the normal settings. Okay, half health and I haven't gotten hit yet. Wait a second. Okay, if I keep grabbing him over and over like that, then I may actually have a shot here. Uh, am I dodging? I... No, I definitely didn't, because he got a 13-hit combo from that. One more, one more hit and I'll die. Okay, well, I was trying to see if I could get a couple more hits in there. Okay, oh, that was Mission Terminate. I didn't real. Well, apparently he got a C rank from killing me once, so... There you go, you're not perfect at this game either, dude, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, I don't feel like trying to fight this dude over and over again, but I'm at least glad that I was able to, like, take him out once normally without having the timer run out, so... I feel like I'm at least starting to get better at this fight, but I I don't think I'm gonna continue because I'm just I'm just tired of this now. Here, let me just let me just enter my initials quickly here. Cause apparently I got I got second place. I don't I don't even know what score I got. Fifty five hundred and ninety-four thousand? Oh, that was actually better than than my old score. Okay, well I don't know how exactly this game calculates points either, but apparently I did better than my previous run, which to be fair, I actually, it seemed like I actually was doing a lot better that time around, because I was definitely struggling a lot on some of the earlier stages even, when I was playing this off screen, but yeah, it, it, it seems like I am actually getting somewhat better at the game now. Yeah, weirdly enough, when I start recording the game, I start doing better at it. It's, it's weird. It's like, it's like the, it's like a reverse Let's Play curse, where I do horrible when I'm trying to learn how to play the game, and then when I start recording the game, suddenly I'm actually doing pretty decent at it. it it's weird. It's very weird how these things work out sometimes. But yeah, hopefully I was able to at least give you guys an idea as to how exactly the gameplay is. I don't even know, like, what the names of any of the moves are in this game, because all 12 of the mechs have their own unique move sets. And all the moves do have official names, and I didn't bother trying to memorize every single move name in this game, because that just would have taken way too long, and I don't think I would have remembered on my own anyway, unless I was constantly looking at the, the freaking game manual. And just for the record, the arcade version of Cyberbots doesn't have any other game modes. The only game mode that there is in this game is actually the single-player campaign, as far as I can tell. I did notice, though, that the title screen says press up to two start buttons, buttons, which I'm guessing means that there is, like, two-player support in this game, and I, I guess if you have a second player, they are actually controlling, like, the other character. So I, I guess there is, like, a two-player versus mode in this game as well, but it doesn't seem like there's any other game modes beyond that. Like, I, I, I kind of would have liked it if maybe there was a game mode where you could just, like, do single-player matches against any of the characters or any of the mechs. Which, I don't know, maybe the console versions of the game have that, but the console versions only ever came out in Japan, unfortunately. But yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys this game today because I just thought it was a, 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 an interesting little obscurity in Capcom's back catalog. Doesn't really seem like this game ever got that much attention outside of Japan, because I, I know that there were official versions of this game that came out in North America and Europe, at least in arcades, but it does seem like the game has more or less fallen into obscurity at this point, which I think is kind of unfortunate, because, I mean, it's a pretty competent fighting game overall. Definitely a lot faster paced than Street Fighter, I would say. Like, the pacing of a lot of the fights in this game seems almost manic. Like, it's it goes by so incredibly fast, and you need to have, like, super quick reflexes. Which I guess is also good for someone who has, like, an incredibly short attention span like I do, and as someone who just has a really difficult time paying attention in general. You know, something I've basically struggled with all my life. Yeah, I do like that the fights in this game are very brief, and they can be completed within in just like a couple of minutes. But man, you have to be really quick on your feet because the AI just does not let up, especially in the later stages. It is relentless. But I feel like I'm starting to get better because I did manage to knock out Warlock at least once without running the timer out. You know, just ju just doing the good old fisticuffs. And I was not able to do that at all off screen because he was just like clobbering me over and over. So I feel, I feel like I'm improving in that regard. I feel like I'm actually kind of starting to get his patterns down. 
and like trying to figure out a, a strategy that works best for me and my playstyle specifically. Yeah, I don't really care about the game's plot overall, that's not really important to me, and I mean it's a fighting game, is it ever really important? But yeah, still a pretty cool fighting game overall, I don't really play uh, enough mech-based games on my channel, honestly, that's also kind of why I wanted to play this again. Or, well, not again, but why I just wanted to play it, period. Yeah, I really like the pixel art in this game, very high-quality pixel art. I do kind of enjoy the music in this game as well, actually. Usually when it comes to fighting games, I don't always care that much for the music, but I mean... The game over screen in particular, the music that plays during the game over screen, or like the, the name entry screen... Uh, kind of a jam, actually. Like a genuinely decent little jam. Maybe I'll use it in the end slate for this video. I don't know, we'll see. And I guess maybe sometime in the future I could try to show off the game that Cyberbots is based on. Maybe I could try to play Armored Warriors slash Powered Gear. I think it is referred to in Capcom Arcade Stadium as Powered Gear. I think this collection does refer to it by its Japanese title. So I don't know, I could try and play that at some point and see whether or not this game works a lot better as a beat-em-up. I don't know. But yeah, I have... I really have nothing more to say about this, honestly. It's just, a, it's just a neat little obscure fighting game from Capcom that never seemed to really... really hit it off, I don't feel. I mean, maybe it was a different case in Japan, but it definitely wasn't the case in North America or Europe. It kind of seems like this game was never really popular in the West. But still, pretty cool game overall, and apparently some of the characters in this game actually did return as playable characters in the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Like, Jin in particular was included as a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So it does at least seem like Capcom still acknowledges the existence of this game, and I mean, clearly they do if, you know, they decided to include it in Capcom Arcade Stadium. I think Cyberbots is also included in another collection that Capcom released recently called Capcom Fighting Collection, which came out just last year. Cyberbots is also playable in that compilation too, so it's available in like two different Capcom compilations that were released fairly recently. And I guess if you want to pick this game up for Capcom Arcade Stadium in particular, I will be providing some links in the description, and of course links to where you can download Capcom Arcade Stadium itself. Again, uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium is free, but most of the games that are available in the compilation are not. You have to buy them individually. This compilation is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC, and of course, Amazon Luna. <laughs> For the five people who even still remotely give a damn about cloud gaming. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!